Do they all still have their butt feathers? Oh, yeah. There's just two of them. I'm going to turn down. Um, you only have two chickens left? Yeah, I have two chickens. Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the audience to build. I like it to say ten before I start talking about whatever it is I'm going to talk about. Six, six, eight people. Eight. Hi, everybody. Seven. Ah, oh, somebody left. Twitter. <laughs> Not you. Nine. Eleven. Yay! Eleven people. Yay! I'm here. Jatan's there. Hi, Jatan. Yeah, you have to turn it down. This is weird because half the people that are watching are sitting in the same room with me. <laughs> <laughs> so, hi everybody. We are in um, Hurricane, Hurricane, Hurricane Mi Mississippi. Hurricane Mississippi. Um, it's spelled hurricane, pronounced hurricane. And now they're arguing about it. What is it, hurricane or hurricane? Hurricane. 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 Anyway, this is this is where the toothbrush was invented, right? Yep. Toothpaste was down the street. Because if it was invented anywhere else, it'd be a toothbrush. Right. Right. <laughs> So, I went down to the uh, VFW, what was it, day before yesterday? Was it yesterday or the day before yesterday? Yeah, day before yesterday night. Day before yesterday night. The night before yesterday, right? Right. Something like that. And uh, got signed up. I don't know why I haven't ever signed up with the VFW before. It's just, just laziness, I guess. And I got no excuses. Uh, got signed up with the VFW. They made a generous donation. I think I talked about this yesterday. And then, um, uh, and that's about it. Met some cool people. And then, uh, let's see what else is going on. Cody, my wife, and boys are going to be here on Monday night. So that's cool. I get to see them. I'm going to be here until the following Monday. That would be Monday the. It says June 17. Oh, July, yeah. <laughs> It'll be here until Monday the, what is today? Or Today's the, the 17th, right? Eight. Right. Eight. So I'll be here until Monday the 17th. I'm a third. <laughs> <laughs> Who did the interview? Um, Regina Butler. Her name is Regina Butler. And I type Progress and Tupelo Daily Journal. Yes. I hope you heard that with the Pontotoc Progress and the Tupelo Daily Journal. She reports for both of them. Watching, Joe. Yep. So, what was I saying now? You got me messed up. Oh, I'll be here until the 17th. And then I'm a th so I'm officially a third of the way done and I'm only in at three and a half months. So, even though by miles I'm behind schedule, uh, time wise I'm ahead of schedule. So, if I can get done. Uh, in fall, that's going to be better than trying to cross those California mountains in the winter or Death Valley or any of that other stuff. So, so uh, it's looking better than it did. So that's good. Thumbs up, yay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Cody and the boys will be here. They'll stay for a few days before they go home, and I'll get to hang out with them. And the girl. We did, we, yeah, we did a f over the phone and interview. We've also done a, an yeah. Interview for the Daily Mississippi we did it. Well, both of those. Okay, so we did another interview over the phone with 
Anna. Do we have a last from name? The from the Davy, Missis Daily, Mississippi. And what else? That's in Oxford. In Oxford. So that's pretty cool. And then, let's see. Kristen's still kind of working on something, isn't she? With Pontotoc? Yeah. I don't know what, what I think that's, that's going to... Yeah, I'm not sure what that's going to entail. Um... Uh, with the American Legion. And then, let's see, uh, not this weekend, but next week, weekend, we're going to have a party to celebrate a 1,000 miles. And it's it's actually a really cool coincidence. The actual miles, I, I sat down and I went over every town that I've walked through. This isn't taking into account side trips or anything like that. But every town that I've walked through, all the way right to my sister's front door, is 1,022 miles. So I thought that was a really cool number to land on. Uh, to have, uh, so we're gonna have the 1,022 mile party here, uh, and then I looked it up, and the main path that I'm taking from here on out is gonna be parallel to Highway 40, almost all the way the rest of the way across the U.S., and I'm going to be uh, that's that's only 2,000 more miles, so I'm just over a third of the way, so that's awesomeness. Yay! Woo! Yep. Yeah. Woo! Yay! And I would have never told, I would have never expected anyone to, uh, I would, I didn't ever believe that I would be at a thousand miles talking about how far and how long it took me to walk a thousand miles. When I was at a hundred miles, I was ecstatic. I was super proud of myself. Um, and then it seemed like the next four or 500 miles flew by. And then you know I I haven't walked that full thousand miles. I've probably walked close to 800 of that full of that thousand miles, uh, but I had to skip some some dangerous roads. I had to to skip a little bit to catch back up with my schedule after going to Florida to help out that other veteran. Uh, and then I've got people like Bert that uh, walk those miles for me to make them up. So it's it's uh, it's all justified. And we figured out a way of. Um, taking care of the miles that I had to skip because of the rain to get here. Um, we're, we're just going to get a ride straight up to Corinth and then head west from there. And then that'll equate like a day, like 15 mile skip instead of an 80 mile skip. So that's going to be super cool. Um, and my niece Amber is here. What's up? <laughs> I haven't seen her in at least three months. Right? Three, three and three and a half months. months. Whenever I started, I, I saw you when I came through, right? Um, you saw mom. I was in Tupelo and didn't know you were coming through. Oh. You saw mom. So it's been longer than that. It has been longer than. Yeah. Probably over a year then. Um, right out about a year. Yeah, probably. something like that. Yeah. Who figured what out, Dad? <laughs> probably going back to make up for your mom. Oh. Oh yeah, my dad figured out how to make up for the miles <laughs> to go up to Corinth and go let and go west from there. Totally that, to the that was all his idea. That was my dad's idea to do that. Now my dad has credit. The credit is on my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the whole gang. Okay, Marie wants to see the whole gang. Uh, no. Yep, there's Janice's ass <laughs> right in front of me. I knew that was coming. Over here is Deb. I'm feeding Molly water. Oh. <laughs> Say hi, everybody. Hello. And then my, my mama, <laughs> my niece, Amber, her husband. Did y'all ever get officially yeah, married? You're sure. married? Sure. Yeah? Yeah. No, yeah, all, all Y'all are full of shit. All that's, that shit, yeah. That's Byron all over there. One big <laughs> and then, and then there's, one, there's Molly's ass. There's Molly. One, two. There's six dogs here, I think, or five. Five. Five dogs. One and cat. That's Molly's new boyfriend right Cosmo. there, Cosmo. That's my baby. They they uh they, uh, Hello. they play nonstop. Hi Molly. Hi Molly, Hi. sweet girl. Molly is the 1,000 mile dog because she is oh, done walking. Okay. This this isn't her final destination, but she's not walking any further. <laughs> Molly's going to get to ride in a car from here. Cosmo, you are right in the way. Molly gets to ride in a car from here down back down to Austin. 
Yeah, Shyla's going to be jealous because she didn't get to play with Cosmo. And turn this back around. There I am. I know, you'd much rather look at Janice's ass than my ugly furry face. Who's Pink Floyd? They said I'm your clone. Pink Flamingo. Oh. That's, uh, that's... Janice's clone. <laughs> I've said it for years, but not yeah, everybody no sees it. Not, but, not everybody sees it. Uh, Pink Flamingo is uh, is Marie. And oh, okay. That's that's her. Pink Flamingo, mid-century modern. She buys junk furniture and sells it to people okay. that are dumb. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, hi Justice. Hi Ricky. If you guys are watching, love you guys. Those are my little niece and nephew on Cody's side. Uh, we call Justice Mini Cody because apparently she's exactly like Cody was when she was a kid. Who's giving me the angry faces? <laughs> Some, angry face? Somebody's giving me angry faces. Oh, it's Marie. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was just kidding. I love you, Marie. I'm sorry. Oh, Brooke's giving me the angry faces. Tyson's watching. Tyson's watching. Hey, baby. Hi, baby. I love you. Come home soon, okay? <laughs> Tyson is Amber's little boy. Probably Brooke. <laughs> He's right. What? He probably, said probably Brooke. Brooke. Yeah. He's already said me. <laughs> uh, for helping with cards. What'd she say? Uh, helping out. Oh, I got you. Okay. Yeah, so we're probably going to, after we get done with the live, we're probably going to do a, uh, a session of uh, cards. cards Against Humanity. Only so, they're actually. Yeah, they're not actually Cards Against hum Humanity. They're actually uh, uh, Crabs Adjust Humidity. <laughs> it even says on the bottom, it says... A crappy little third-party unofficial expansion pack. <laughs> yep, yeah, good to see everybody else too. I'm sorry I skipped yesterday, guys. I didn't have good enough signal or something, or maybe I just didn't want to. And maybe you slept and rested for a couple of days. Now. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what um, the shout out for uh, Justice and um, and uh, Ricky was all about. They actually tonight at the at their fireworks display in North Car or Indiana um, handed out over 200 of my business cards to all the people all around right. there. So that's pretty cool. All right. So um, they're pretty young. I think they're what seven, eight years old, something like that. It was really cool and really nice of them to help out. So. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you, Justice. Sussis, as everyone calls her. <laughs> All right, so I don't think there's many people in the room that'll do the push-ups with me. <laughs> My sister, Janice, automatically is like, nope. I did it on the wall. Not doing How it. How many are we talking, like one? 22. 22. Bitch. 22 plus 22. one for the active duty members. And you can do girl style. You can do them on your knees. You don't have to. I'll do it. They're five and six. They're five and six, yeah. Hey, Chico, how's it going, man? Uh, what? So I guess I'll do these push-ups real quick. Chico, man, I know you're feeling better. You better do some push-ups. <laughs> I cheat. I do. I do Navy style push-ups. I no. That's all right. Do you know my? You can keep up with my. My boobs will hang out my shirt in the bedroom. Well, then don't do it. I don't Tonight. care. You don't have to do it. I can only do like two. Do twenty-two shots instead, or something. Try the try the. I can do the long All right. There we go, guys. Ah! <laughs> Ready? Molly, move. I got dog ass in my face. Oops, sorry. 
It's all good. <laughs> they don't. Go? They don't want to filter. They want. They want to see the real us. <laughs> all right, y'all. Already go. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> Thank you, Molly. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I think I quit early. Yeah, I think you quit early too, Amber. But I got a few. Molly. <laughs> Molly wants to give me kisses while I'm doing push-ups. <laughs> I hate those. Oh, I believe the Volvo Slayer would be huge, Blondie. No, the Volvo Slayer is, is uh, Dewey's daughter. Dewey's daughter. Yeah, you're the Genesis. Her nickname when she was younger was the Volvo Slayer because she destroyed several of them. <laughs> I don't know, is she? Cindy. Cindy's on. Cindy says I'm, I ain't done the push up <laughs> That's fine. Justice is watching, wants to see Grandma T. Okay. Tyson loves Hi, Mom, Dad, and Can Grandma T. This is Justin. He's sending love. Oh, okay. Tyson. Sharon says Tyson loves Mommy and Daddy and G2, GT2. Grandma, Grandma T2. He Oh yeah, the new shirt. Got I've got the twenty-two, the new twenty-two one on. I don't have the backwards one on because I didn't think about it. But it's over here, and I'll show it off. Let me get it. Hold on a second. So this is the. Marie says, where's my cup, Janice? This is one of the 22 shirts. This says 22 right here, but you can't really tell because it's backwards. But this one, you should be able to read. Ah, look at that, you can read it. So even though the shirts are actually a mirror image shirt that Marie got me so I could wear them for the lives, so you can see that it says hashtag walked in 22. If I flip it around, you can see the back is written correctly, but it's backwards for you guys. So wow, that's so, awesome. So since Android won't get off their butt and figure out a way of switching that around on video like iPhone does, we just got some T-shirts to cheat it. <laughs> Let's see what if if I take a selfie video, the writing doesn't come out backwards. I guess it's just on Facebook Live. Yeah, if you take a regular video, when you're done, it automatically flips the video when you're finished. It saves it as flipped. But, yeah, the uh, the live videos uh, don't save flipped. They save just like they're recorded. But there is an app out there that you can get to flip the video. But what I would have to do is get another app to steal the video off of Facebook save it flipped and then re-upload it back onto Facebook and by then everybody's already seen it anyway so there's no point in going through all that trouble <clears throat> so right now it's looking like around is it two o'clock on Saturday is that kind of our working next Saturday. not this coming but the next Saturday the Saturday Saturday the 15th so there's going to be a 1,022-mile party, barbecue, cookout, whatever you want to call it, here uh, on Saturday the 15th. Well, not here, here, not where I'm at, but uh, here in Mipipipi. Probably here, here. And uh, we'll get directions to anybody that's watching or online that wants to come to it. Uh, we'll get directions on how to get you here. Um, Pretty much any of my followers are invited if you want to come down and do a meet and greet. Uh, see Molly off before she uh, isn't on any more pictures or videos. 
So that'll be pretty cool. All right, so that's about it, guys. I really appreciate um, y'all following me again. If you know some veterans, please uh, check on them, you know, vet check. Just make sure they're doing okay. Um, if they're feeling bad, you know, it, it's better to, to uh, push them to get help and run the risk of alienating them than uh, to not do anything and, and find out that they'd committed suicide or something along those lines. So help your veterans out. Make them laugh. Don't talk about the war. Deuces. Love you. Bye.